Hey everyone, welcome to Mobility Monday. Today we're going to start breaking down the ankle and how to get some more mobility out of that joint. The first part here, we're going to talk about a quick assessment you can do on your own to gauge where your ankle mobility is at. All you need for this assessment is your body and a wall. For the first phase, start with your toe right in line with the wall and then try to touch your knee to the wall so your knee will be coming in line with your toe. If you can do that with no pain and relatively easy, move an inch and a half off the wall and try to repeat the same test. Uh, if you can do that, no pain, relatively easy, then you're moving to two and a half inches off the wall and trying to touch. Do not put too much pressure on that front leg, you're just trying to keep the heel down flat and gliding toward that wall. This is a great assessment piece to return to from time to time to see how any of your training is affecting the mobility of the ankle joint. The first exercise just involves a foam roller. You may see these laying around the gym and any one you have at home will work just as well. All you need to do is press your weight down into the foam roller and then work your ankle through its range of motion. You can either do straight up and straight down, point the toe different directions, and even add in circles as well. Then move the foam roller up slightly toward the knee, gradually roll out that musculature pausing anywhere where it feels a little bit intense. Maybe you need to take a few breaths there. And then you're just going through the range of motion with the ankle again. You keep doing this until you work closer to the knee joint. If you want a little more intense of a rollout, cross your legs. That way you can add your own body weight on top of the movement and really dig into that musculature at a deeper level. After that, just lift your hips slightly off the ground, complete the roll, but then for the ankle mobility portion where you're actually completing some range of motion, make sure you put that other foot down and take the extra pressure off. The last variation you can do is with a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, um, any other hard circular surface that you can get your hands on. So again, similar motion, placing the ball wherever you want to start, recommending more toward that ankle, completing a few ranges of motion. For this one, you can either lift the hips slightly to press your weight down onto the ball a little bit more, or you can bring that other foot to press down right on your shin. Uh, while you're doing the ranges of motion, you can have the foot on the shin for this one. Just make sure that that foot is not resting right on the knee. This next one's great if you ever have any tension more to the top of your gastrox, uh, your calf muscle, uh, even up into the knee a little bit. So all you do is you take the lacrosse ball and you put it up right in that little crease where the, the knee is. And then you're just going to squeeze that ball into your hamstring and into your gastrox, your soleus as well. Uh, hold that squeeze for about three to four seconds, nice and tight, and then you just release. Make sure you're breathing easy. This one will be a little bit tender when you start, uh, but make sure you're not pushing it too far, really trying to collapse that ball in there too hard. The last one just involves a stretch strap. Start with the stretch strap a little bit below the ball of your foot, and then you're just pulling that toe towards you. Hold for a few seconds, release, and then you can even move that strap to be in line with the ball of your foot, pulling back and holding. This is one you can hold a little bit longer, anywhere from 20 seconds all the way up to a minute, and you can even change the angle slightly so you can point the toe out away, point the toe inward, and always pausing where you're feeling a good stretch.